Today we are going to discuss Investigation 12 from Vernier Chemistry Investigations for use with AP Chemistry. The experiment is entitled Investigating Commercial Hand Warmers. The purpose of this inquiry-based experiment is for students to design and interpret the results of an experiment in which calorimetry is used to determine the change in enthalpy of a chemical process at constant pressure. Simply put, this is an inquiry investigation of the enthalpy of dissolution of various ionic compounds. I'm going to be demonstrating this experiment with the Flynn kit, designing a hand warmer advanced inquiry lab kit. In the initial investigation, the students are asked to measure the enthalpy of dissolution of magnesium sulfate. This will help them practice setting up the equipment and collecting accurate data from a coffee cup calorimeter. Today I will be demonstrating data collection on a LabQuest 2. To set up your experiment, first connect the temperature probe to the LabQuest 2 interface. Once the probe is plugged in, we'll need to change the data collection parameters. To do this, tap the mode button change the rate to one sample per second, and then change the duration to 300 seconds. You may want to play around with this parameter later on as you run different samples. Okay. Now we need to prepare the calorimeter by nesting a coffee cup into a 400 milliliter beaker. Then we'll add 50 milliliters of distilled water to the cup. And I'm going to place it on our stir station. And I've already accurately measured out 5 grams of magnesium sulfate. Now we want to place the temperature probe in our setup so that the tip of the probe is immersed in the water, but it is not touching the sides of the cup. Once I'm ready to begin, I press the green start button. You'll want to make sure that you get a good baseline of temperature before the data collection starts. So I wait about 10 seconds before I add the magnesium sulfate. So I'll go ahead and dump it all in at once and stir the beaker around as data collection goes. When the temperature readings reach a maximum or a minimum level, you can stop the data collection early if you wish, or you can just let it record the full 300 seconds. After 300 seconds, I have this temperature data. You'll want to analyze this data for the largest temperature change and use that value to calculate the heat energy of the reaction. This is then used to calculate the enthalpy of dissolution per mole of magnesium sulfate. The Flynn kit includes a variety of ionic salts for your students to explore the variation in enthalpies of dissolution. The point being to find the salt that would make the best hand warmer. Remind students to think about the cost effectiveness of the chemicals, the ultimate temperature that the hand would be exposed to, disposal issues that come with certain chemicals, along with other product development strategies. Additional tips, as well as sample data, can be found in the instructor information in the book Vernier Chemistry Investigations for Use with AP Chemistry. If you have additional questions about this or other chemistry experiments, please email chemistry at vernier.com.